Reaching Blossom by Andrea Cubis. This picture very much reminds me of spring as I think of the cherry blossoms that bloom everywhere. Ever since I was a little girl, I loved the idea of being surrounded by cherry blossoms. Um, that comes from Anna Green Gables. If you've ever read it, um, you're probably Canadian. If you, if you haven't read it and you love a good kind of kid story, I love it. So go for it. Read Anna Green Gables. It's a great story. Because whenever I think of cherry blossoms, I think of Anna Green Gables. In this picture, I was thinking of uh, innocence and um, childhood, and that's kind of the idea of the title, is reaching blossom, and it can be taken two ways. This blossom is trying to reach out, but it's also the idea of trying to reach those who are innocent to try and help them get through some of the tough times of childhood. So for this, I started off with that pink kind of blur in the background with some brown and white to kind of show that there were other cherry trees in this area. Then I started to go in with the white blossoms. In the picture, the blossoms that weren't up front were kind of blurry, so I was trying to mimic that same idea of the ones that were in behind were out of focus, and the ones that right now that I'm working on were the focused ones. I'm not sure if it came through. Let me know what you think. Um, I found it hard, and after I finished, I realized I should have painted those blossoms a lot larger. I always think of cherry blossoms as being these small, delicate blossoms. So I had a hard time with the idea of making them big. And I really should have made them at least bigger, maybe medium size. To make the blossoms, I used white and I mixed it with uh, some brown to do the shadows. Um, even though they're mostly white, to try and break up the blossoms so you could see some of the individual ones, I was trying my best to, to put some shadowing in there. As well, I used the palette knife, uh, as you're seeing here, to get the stems and the centers of the blossoms. Uh, I was having a hard time with the brushes that I had to get into those tiny little spaces, so I probably would have benefited from making larger blossoms now that I look back at this. Lastly, to help the branch look a little more dimensional, I added that white shine on the top of it. I threw in a couple extra blossoms because it felt like the end of that branch was just a little too far. This is Acrylic April Challenge Day 23, Reaching Blossom. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great night. Please come back for Day 24.